Now to an issue that should be no surprise to anyone, especially our politicians. A new report has found that the cost of living is by far the top concern of Australians, closely followed by housing and the economy. But it was interesting to see that climate change is still a concern for many, with 65% of Australians saying we should be doing more to address it. Now, joining me to discuss this is Sky News contributors Tina McQueen and Gary Hardgrave. Tina, Gary, wonderful to see you both and welcome Amber. to the show. Gary, I might start with you. Yeah. This climate change view I think is quite interesting. Almost two in three Australians think we should be doing more when, quite frankly, the Albanese government is already planning on drastic emissions reductions of 43% in seven years. They're installing hundreds of thousands of Chinese-made solar panels <laughs> to the point at which it presents a security risk for us. Thousands of weather-dependent wind turbines and tens of thousands of kilometres of transmission lines through pristine agricultural land, much to the ire of farmers. What are your thoughts? What is enough for these climate catastrophists? Well, you say 65%, I'll say 67% ah. of Australians. 67% <laughs> of Australians say they're afraid to speak up on issues. And, you know, what's the question they've asked? They say climate change. Well, look, you know, I don't want a rubbish climate either, but the world is not coming to an end. It's not burning up. We're telling kids, you know, don't bother studying at school, don't bother following the laws because guess what? The world's going to blow up soon because it's catching on fire. It's complete bunkum. And I know I'll probably get cancelled for <laughs> saying that on any television channel anywhere in the world, but it's complete bunkum. Look, Amanda, what was the next question? Uh, oh, yeah, look, I'm really worried about climate change. Yeah, but how much are you prepared to spend? And right, now, right. right now we've got government in Australia at all levels who are promoting the cost of living increases to meet this mystery uh, way of fixing up 0.04% of the atmosphere carbon. And I mean, if we were to halve the amount of carbon in the atmosphere, the trees wouldn't grow. That's not exactly the world I want. So bottom line here is what is it worth you to pay? Well, right now we're paying thousands and thousands and thousands of extra dollars a year off uh, the back of higher electricity prices and the consequences of manufacturing not being able to do things as cheaply as they once did. So ask the next question, come back to me then with a survey result because I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of numpties sitting in the boardrooms, including the cabinet rooms in Australia right now. Uh, there are people who are, are real rogues on this sort of stuff. They are actually milking our misery to make money for companies and the <laughs> rent seekers are driving this debate and politicians should shut the heck up and just allow us to get on with our lives. Hand out, hand out of our pocket, I say. Tell That's me what Amanda story. think, Gary. Amanda, I love it. Amanda, can, <laughs> I just say, can, I just say <laughs> can I just say there's some good news? Um, the government intended to put wind turbines off the coast of Norah Head in the seat of Dobell. They were gung-ho going to do this 10 kilometres 10, 10 km off the coast. There was an uprising from, from the locals that just went nuts over this. There was such pushback. They've dropped that now. So climate change doesn't matter so much if they think they're going to lose a seat. Let me give you the drum on that, Amanda. Yeah. What about the whales, I say, Tina? What about the whales? Exactly. And the birds. <laughs>